Hey everybody, Mr. Mathlog here. This lesson is called Problem Solving with Customary and Metric Conversion. So I'm, I'm kind of experimenting here. I'm going out on a date with my wife, so she's getting ready. You can hear the music in the background. So <laughs> if it bothers you, please let me know and I'll, I'll just redo this lesson. No biggie. This is uh, Lesson 10.6 in our textbook. And uh, here's our common core strand for our teachers. And then our question is, how can we uh, use the strategy make a table to help us solve problems that are involving customary and metric measures? So here's uh, our conversion table for customary units right here. So, um, uh, for example, there's four quarts in a gallon. There's eight pints in a gallon. There's 16 cups in a gallon. And here this says there's four cups in a quart. A quart is one-fourth of a gallon here. So this is just our conversion table we're going to use right here, okay? So here we go. Alex is making pink lemonade for a birthday party. He needs to make 120 cups of lemonade. If he wants to store the lemonade in gallon containers, how many gallon containers will Alex need? Okay, so we're going to go ahead and use that graph in graphic organizer to help us solve this problem here. So let's answer some series of questions. So what do we need to find? That's always the last part right here. It's this last part. How many gallon containers is Alex going to need on this? Okay, for the 120 cups. So what information are we going to use? We're going to use the graphic organizer to help make a table to find out how many gallons 120 cups will make. Okay. So, uh, just the same questions here. One more. So, how, how are we going to use this information? Well, we're going to make that table to show the relationship between the number of cups and gallons right there. Okay. So, how many cups are in a gallon? There were 16 cups in a gallon. So, each cup ends up being 1 16th of a gallon. So, we're going to go ahead and complete this table right here. Since one cup equals one sixteenth of a gallon, then two cups, we're going to just multiply by one sixteenth right there. So two times one sixteenth is one eighth. Can you see how uh, two goes into two and two goes into sixteen, one and eight times right here? Then, uh, then this next one is going to be three times one sixteenth. So three times one sixteenth is three sixteenths. Four times one sixteenth is 4 sixteenths, which is 1 4. So finally, we get 120 times 1 sixteenth is 120 16. All right, sixteenths, sorry. So that just adds up to 80 sixteenths plus 40 sixteenths. And this is this is 5 right here. Uh, 16 times 5 is 80. And then um, uh, 16 goes into 40 two times with 8 left over. So it's, um, that comes to be 2 and a half. So that um, 120 cups right here ends up being 5 plus 2 and a half or 7 and a half gallons right there. Okay, so... Remember, the question is, how many gallon containers will Alex need? Okay, well, if he if he's going to have seven and a half gallons right there, he's going to need seven uh, full ones. He's going to need another gallon container for this half one right here. So he's going to need uh, the eight gallon containers to store those seven and a half gallons of uh, lemonade. Okay, so will all the gallon containers be used to fill the, uh, uh, all the containers Alex uses? Uh, will they all be filled? Well, no, seven of, seven of them will be full right here, but this eighth one right here is going to be half full. So not all of them, one of them is going to be half full, but he needs eight containers to carry those those seven and a half gallons. Okay, here's our conversion table for the metric system. Remember, in, I think it was the last lesson, the meters is right in the middle, and as we go to the right, it goes times 10, times 10, times 10. If we go to the left, it goes divide by 10, divide by 10, divide by 10. So if there's one meter, there's 10 decimeters, there's 100 centimeters and 100 millimeters. That's what this says right here. So each decimeter is one-tenth of a meter right here, okay? And then uh, each centimeter is one one-hundredth of a meter, and each millimeter is one one-thousandth of a meter. All right, so we're going to use that conversion table right there. So Sally is making bracelets. She needs to cut the strips of material that are each one decimeter long. If Sally has seven strips of material that are one meter long, how many one decimeter strips can she cut? All right, so we're going to go ahead and use this conversion table right here. Remember, the decimeters are one-tenth of a meter right here and and uh, or there's ten decimeters in a meter right here so so we're gonna what do we need to find we need to find uh, how many one decimeter strips Sally can cut from seven 
one meter strips right there. And what information are we going to use? We're going to use the graphic chart right up here uh, to make a table to find out how many decimeter strips we can make from the seven one meter strips. And so how are we going to use that? Well, this lesson suggests build a table. So we're going to make a table to show how the decimeters and meters are related. Okay, so there are um, 10 decimeters in each meter. See how there's 10 decimeters in each meter right here. So we're going to complete the table right here. So we're just going to multiply by 10. So if there's one meter, then there's 10 decimeters. If there's 20, I'm sorry, two meters, then there's going to be 20 decimeters right there. Okay, three is going to be 30. Finally, seven, seven times 10 is going to be 70 right there. So Sally can cut 70 uh, one decimeter lengths uh, to complete her bracelets right there. All right, what relationship did uh, the table we made show? Well, it showed that multiplying the number of meters by 10 uh, it would give us the number of decimeters right there. So she had 7 meters, so we multiplied that by 10 and gave us 70. So what was another way we could um, uh, use to solve that problem? Well, instead of multiplying by 10, we could have just added 10 plus 10 plus 10 seven times right there because it there's this is one meter here's another meter here's another meter here's another meter so there's 10 decimeters in each meter so if we add them up we can get 70 right there all right you guys i hope that made sense and take care and please let me know if that uh, bothers you i'll fix that thanks